Hi, kids. All right. Uh, we, I'm going to show you a demo, and then um, I will give you an opportunity to potentially earn a little bit extra. So, so let's, let's talk about this. So I have uh, this thing here. You've probably seen this before. It's called a Newton's Cradle. Um, and it's pretty fun if you take one of the spheres back. You can get one sphere to go back and forth. If you take two of the spheres back, you can get two spheres to go back and forth. If you take three spheres, you get three to go back and forth. If I take three on one side, two on the other, like that's pretty fun, okay? Here's the here's my question. So we know that the reason if you take one, one goes back and forth, or two, or three, or whatever, that there's, this is a collision, and in a collision, momentum is conserved. So, you know, if I have M times V, I'm going to get M times V. If I get bigger M times V, I'm going to get bigger M times V, and so on. But here's my question, okay? That if I take one, I always get one that goes back and forth. If I take two, I always get two that goes back and forth. Momentum would still be conserved. If I took two back, okay, if I got one that went with twice the velocity, because if you were to set up your equation, if I said 2m times v, that would equal 1m times 2v. So the momentum would still be conserved. But that never, ever happens. Whenever you take two back, you always get two that goes back and forth, not one with twice the velocity. So the question is this, okay? Using math, using words, so this would be a math skill one and a verbal skill one, um, I want you to explain, prove why, if you take two back, why do you always get, get two that goes back and forth, not one with twice the velocity? Okay? Um, and then when you're done, you're going to submit it online. All right. Bye, kids.